And then if I want to go to my history on the right hand side, it'll show us the reconciliation reports. So this is for the for this account. So if I view this report, then again, it's quite boring because the summary up top should give you this normally will reflect what's on the bank statement, but we're missing that beginning $1,000 because it's included down below. So instead of having the 1000 up top, it's right there, but so you can see it's the same thing. You might note that in your first bank reconciliation, but then this is the statement ending balance, which in essence is this balance on the, the credit card statement. And this is the register balance, meaning this is what's on our register over here on the balance sheet. Let's run the balance sheet month by month so I can see the months broken out. Uh, but let's just run it for, let's go from 08, uh, 01, 22, 22, 11, 30, 22, let's say, boom. And so now we've got August, if I go down, so there's the 52271. So as of 831, 52271, and then there's the 52271. So, so the point is that there's nothing in between these two. <laughs> because we constructed our books from the bank account or from the financial institution. So in other words, if it was a normal bank statement kind of situation and we wrote checks, the difference between those two might be the outstanding checks, the checks that we wrote, the checks that are in our system correctly, but which have not cleared the bank, therefore timing difference. And we could have that, you could, if you were doing a full service system with the credit cards, you would do the same thing. We would enter the charges in our side when we bought something. When I paid the utilities bill with the credit card, I would enter the expense form, go into the credit card when I actually make the charge and then verify it to the bank reconciliation to the bank fees. But that's not what most people do because that takes another step. Most people, because the timing difference is so short and because we're pretty, we're pretty confident in the banking transactions and whatnot, we just wait till it clears the bank and then we record it from the bank feeds, which means we're not gonna have any timing difference because we waited till it cleared the bank, which only takes a couple days generally. So not a big wait, not a big problem in order to record it. Okay, so that's the credit cards. And, uh, and so next month, it should be even easier. So we might do one or two more months just to show that after this has reconciled, after you're in balance, then you almost don't even need to reconcile. But again, you might as well because it helps you to figure out if there is a problem, how to solve the problem. You solve it through doing the reconciliations. And then we'll do the same thing on uh, the checking accounts in future presentations uh, with the reconciliations as well.